Hi, my name is Larry here, Larry Pollock Photography. This is going to be a short video. We're just going to talk about the batteries and viewing the firmware update version on the Cyber Commander from Paul C. Buff. Uh, the batteries are very simple. They're right here in the back. They're just triple A's. Let's see if I have enough fingernails right in the back so you can find that one easy enough. And there's a lanyard ring up here just to mention that in case you want to put something and hang this around your neck and keep it with you at all the time versus popping it in a pocket. But what I wanted to tell you mostly about is when you put the batteries in the first time or any time you take them out and put them back in, but you're going to have to refresh batteries once in a while, the firmware will you know, show up right down here, the version, right at the bottom of the screen. So you should watch for that and write it down. And then you can go up to Paul C. Buff's website and you can take a look at what is the latest version there. And if it's not up to date and you want to up update it, there's a little micro SD card here on the side you can pop out. If you've got a card reader on your computer that can read those, then you can put that in there, transfer that firmware that you've downloaded onto the card, slip it back in here, then follow the instructions to go in and um, you know, do the update. It's pretty easy. You don't want to put the firmware update of the same number on top of itself, so once you put it in, don't do it again. And don't turn this off or everything. Make sure there's good batteries and let it run. If you have any problems with that, call up Paul C. Buff and talk to their technical people, and they'll tell you what to do if you mess up with that firmware update. I have had no problem with that, so everything's fine with it. So um, once you've got the batteries in and you turn it on here, you can see i got the screen on. Down the lower bottom, it says the word refresh when you're on the flash screen. If that changes to a battery, uh, there it may say low battery there. That means you've got a time to replace them in the back. So that's how you find that out there because I just run them until that starts to flash and then I put in a new set of, at that time so that's all pretty simple there nothing else to say about it but uh, check your firmware by just taking the batteries out and put them in again